So, so ones like that, where you want you want it to go a certain way, you do your undercut. I do the undercut first because if you should feel a little bit of pinching, like that's ideal because that means it already wants to go that way. Um, We're real happy with um, with what was going on, and uh, at the end of the day. Um, you know, you gotta be happy. That one was, that one was sketchy because I got, uh, you know, halfway through the wedge cut and it, um, it still wasn't squeezing. So I was like, okay, well, we've kind of committed to this at this point, right? You just can't walk away. But also what happened is about that much in the center of the tree is uh, just completely dead. We'll go down and look at it here in a second, but this is completely dead, so it's not reinforced in the way that we would probably expect it to be. So it's all getting pulled up from the sides of the circle, not through like the core of the tree. That was just kind of weird. Didn't really expect it because the tree didn't necessarily look all that unhealthy, but it's it, it was just completely dead. Again, we'll show you in a second. So where these these wedges come in is again while I was cutting the wedge I felt no pinching, so um, it wasn't it didn't want to go it didn't want to go the way that I had the wedge at all, so I got um, three four you know I I got I got the the saw in enough to where I could get one of these hammered in, and then that way. Um, my saw won't get stuck because again it wants to go it wants to pinch on where I'm doing my the where you, you cut the trigger right like so this is basically what it looked like and this is where the branch was so it's top heavy in this way which made me think it wanted to go that way but it didn't <laughs> it wanted to go that way but I already cut the wedge down here right so that means the tree is it, it still wants to pull this way so as you cut in that way you don't have you have the hollowed out core as well so it's weaker and there's less to hold it from pinching your saw when you come back down this way so that's why it was really lucky and well quite a bit of skill too to get the wedges these wedges in there uh, when I did so that it wouldn't continue to pinch it. Cause again, being that dead in the center, it's not reinforced like it should be. And it's gonna just act very weird, right? But once I got the wedge into it, I was, uh, it was, it was basically game over because it's not, it's not gonna pinch this and it was hammered in there solid. Like maybe you can hear on the video, but it was thunk, 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 like solid hitting wedge. And then you just, Cut it the rest of the way and make sure that your wedge doesn't fall out. But again, it was pinched so hard, it wasn't going anywhere. And then, like I said, it was just, it was game over at that point. As soon as this goes in, it's done. But look how, de look at how it's decomposed in there. Like, this is why we line our beds with these things afterward, the fact too. Like, like, look at, look at that. Like that's just decomposed tree. All right, it's a self-contained little ecosystem here. So, yeah. I don't know if it's the biggest tree we've cut down ever, but it's definitely up there. It was definitely one of the sketchiest, especially with that dead hole in the middle, like I talked about earlier. But yeah, it's just, I mean, that pro this hole, it probably goes all the way up to the, look at that. Oh wow, that looks like potting soil. Doesn't it? Looks like uh, that stuff that you line the outsides of your beds with. Ah! Ah! You know I had to do that, but it's so cold in there too. <laughs> All right, well, now we gotta do the uh, Herculean task of getting it pieced apart. It's actually not gonna be that bad because it didn't have a lot of limbs, um, which is why the one big limb pulling it this way up the hill is why old Jake was like, ah, it's gonna jump right up the hill. It's like, no, I'm gonna go that way. It's like. You can't go that way. It'll kill all of the turkeys. But, okay. Alright, so 
I'm either gonna look like a genius or you'll never see this and it'll be on the editing room floor. Or I so will probably say anyway. Um, it it works with smaller trees. This one's really big. But so all the way up and down this log now, about every two, two and a half feet or so, kind of finagling, finagling my way around all the knots and everything, is I cut three quarters of the way through. So there's about that much left on it. Um, you don't want your saw to go through and hit the ground. But we have this long branch over here. Uh, the plan is I'm gonna use it like a lever now to push it and roll it over and then finish cutting it the last little way through for all the individual sections. So again, it's either gonna work or it's not. You're not gonna come help me lift? Oh, it's a team lift? Yeah, I'm pretty sure her house is down. She's flying around looking for it. Oh, that's really sad. That's gonna happen. You know? <laughs> All right. <clears throat> okay, so when we're cutting these, I'm gonna start on them here. So I'm gonna start here and then I'm gonna kind of score the cut back this way. And my eyes are looking down here. So I can meet it up like that, right? Because if you do just a new cut next to it, you really didn't do anything. So the easiest way I found to line it up is gonna get yourself in that notch, look where you wanna go, and you're just gonna kinda set it down into it. It's not always gonna be perfect, but I found it's better than just going blind, you know, and hoping for the best. that end up and roll it this way. Okay, good. Um, this might be a problem for the rest of it. If I'm gonna get locked like that, then I'll have to get the wedges out. But I think it's just because of that end piece. So we'll find out. <laughs> 